Hey everyone, Steph here from Old Guy Melts Plastic. So this Voron V2 printer that I assembled uh, for the first time about a year ago in September of 2022 has about four to 5,000 hours, uh, print hours on it. And I've been recently, uh, since I replaced the Z drives underneath uh, the deck, I've been having some Z issues, Z banding issues that I haven't been able to resolve. And so uh, some several observant viewers, um, in particular Kyle the Voron Modder, uh, who uh, has struck up, uh, he and I have struck up a bit of an online friendship, even though we live half a continent apart. Uh, he's been uh, particularly uh, not shy about pointing out that my frame corners were not as square as they could be. And he wasn't wrong. While uh, I did originally square them as best as I could uh, with what I had available to me, uh, since the original assembly, I've gone and purchased a slab of stone um, countertop that I'm now using as a uh, you know surface on which to build the machine and, and sit the machine. So I figured while I have this stone slab, and these stone slabs are typically milled to a uh, you know, high degree of flatness with uh, low tolerance for um, changes in, in elevation. Um, they're a good surface typically on which to build and square your frame. So uh, I've gone ahead and done that and I've re-squared everything to the best of my ability. In doing so, I came to realize that my um, Z rails, I've removed them from the Z, the Z extrusions, um, they're binding a fair bit. And I'm sure that's possibly also contributing to my Z issues. So um, one of them isn't too bad. This one's actually not bad. There's a little bit of stickiness through here, but they get progressively worse and worse as I go deeper into the build here. Uh, this one actually, like, it, it actually catches and locks briefly every time there. So I need to give it a good amount of force to go through that motion. And that shouldn't be the case. So they should be nice and smooth. Um, I did lubricate them originally, like I said, a year ago when I installed them and cleaned them up. But after a year's worth of uh, use and abuse, uh, in particular, I had uh, some AB belt issues where my belts were being chewed and they were kicking up all sorts of rubber dust all through the printer. So it's entirely possible that some of that rubber dust has found its way into these uh, Z carriages on these rails. And so they probably need a good cleansing. So I'm going to attend to that now. And um, I'd encourage you to go check out Kyle's channel, The Voron Modder, uh, link in the description below. Um, he's just starting out in YouTube and, uh, you know, want to give him all the love and likes that he needs to encourage him to continue producing the video content that he's doing. So go ahead and check out his channel. And uh, if you have any questions, as always, uh, don't hesitate or comments. Don't hesitate to uh, let me know what you think. Um, and I'll be back with an update in a little while, probably another day or two, to let you know if this uh, operation on the Z rails has had any significant effect or not. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.